subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Today on Lady Mary Beth, we have found a Goodwill store in Port St. Joe, Florida. I previewed it yesterday and bought a couple of goodies. Can't wait to take you inside and show you all of the treasures that await. Join me. I wanted to show you some of the treasures that I found yesterday. I was with my family on the way back to Mexico Beach and I didn't have all my equipment to film. I found four of these salt cellars that are scalloped seashells with those beautiful feet. They were $3.99 for four pieces. And these I can use as a ring dish or perhaps for dipping sauce. And here's another lovely scallop shell. This is a sterling silver overlay dish. Isn't it beautiful? I think that's a grand prize at $2.99. And of course the toll tray. I love anything in the square shape. And for $3.99, that was a deal. Let's go inside and see what other things they have for us today. I'm taking a break from the beach so that we can shop a local Goodwill store. Have not been to one in Florida before and they've done some great merchandising with beach items and a pineapple. I think they knew I was coming. It would be fun to hang up outside on your patio. You could even maybe paint something or put a temporary celebratory message on top for $4.99. I like that. And I'm noticing a lot of new items. And you occasionally see that at a Goodwill store because maybe there's surplus merchandise that a store has donated. But there seems to be an abundance of this. And very well presented, of course, with the seaside items, the trivets. And this looks to be an older piece. $5.99 for the dolphins. I think it was a votive candle holder. And this scallop shell in black is striking. And that would be a dramatic addition to a seaside table or perhaps a soap dish. And this actually is a chip and dip. There is a larger piece missing that that sits on top of. I've seen that a lot at Goodwill stores. And with all the new items, I was very curious if maybe a store had donated items. And I talked to some of the staff and they actually have brand new products that they feature in their stores. And this was probably a wedding item, maybe a centerpiece that was donated. But you'll see they're very clever with the new items that they feature in their store. And they know that people are going to be traveling and coming without their towels and, and items, especially if they've flown in to the Gulf Coast of Florida. $14.99. I'm just not used to shopping retail at a Goodwill store, but you know, their prices are not bad if you compare it to a souvenir shop. So, you know, that's something to consider as well. And of course, lots of clothing. And here we've got a whole section, beach and gift. And you'll see the Mexico Beach shirts, the tie-dye. And Mexico Beach is actually the Gulf Coast of Florida. It is not in Mexico. And it is quite a, a sleepy little town. And I think an undiscovered area. And we really have enjoyed being here in Mexico Beach. And the shirts are well-priced compared to some of the local stores. They've got flip-flops, decorative items, and, you know, if you want a souvenir, why not go to Goodwill? You don't always have to have something that's been maybe donated by an individual. You can have something new to add to your patio or table decor. And if you forgot your towel, they've got a nice selection for you as well. And a lot of times when you do fly in, you don't have room to bring everything. This is a hook that you could maybe hang a wet bathing suit on or a towel. And that would be a neat item to bring back and add to your pool area. And I like the blue, it's very soothing. And of course, welcoming. And the flip-flops, you know, that's something that maybe would be great to take back home and enjoy. And this actually is a good item for the beach. That way your feet don't step on some seashells or something. 
And I think I would really, at this point, like to maybe look at some of the collections and donated items. Oh, I sure do love pineapples. But I'm anxious to see what else they have in the store. And let's head towards the back. A Florida Gator, of course. And Housewares usually is located in the back of the store. And I'm thinking that we might find some hidden treasures today. And they tend to coordinate items by color. Here I see lots of green shades. These three glasses, you could even put a candle in these and use as a table centerpiece, maybe three down the middle of a table. And I don't think you have to have a set of four to be complete. This is a crystal taper holder. You could probably put a tea light in that as well. Looks to be a good quality crystal for $1.99. That's not bad. I'm always looking for the mark. And these trays would be a nice addition to a coffee table. You could place items on top and they're priced individually. So you certainly don't have to take both of them home. It's always fun to see what they have in different regions. This is Southern Living at Home. It's a planter and was originally offered as a trio with a couple of different shades. I think one was orange, one was yellow. And you could certainly get a plant, put that in and cheer someone up. And this teapot is interesting. I love hummingbirds. Uh, wouldn't that be sweet on a tea table? I like to look at the back stamp. Let's see what it says. And it is Flowers Inc. So that was a delivery someone would have had. And I'm glad they included the lid to that teapot. Here's another interesting item. It looks to be hand-painted pottery from Italy or it could be from Portugal. Let's turn it over. Hand-painted in Italy for FTD. That's another floral delivery service. In Europe, it is called Fleurope. And I, let's look at the blues. You know, that's my favorite shade. I think it is eye-catching when they put the colors together. It's a little more exciting. And that's a way to unify these items. And to imagine how to use these in your home as well. And that tall vase looks to be from the 80s with that kind of dusty rose color that was popular then. And for $9.99, I think that's a pretty good deal. You would certainly pay $30 or more at a craft store. And these two chinoiserie inspired ginger jars are great. I like that you have a pair. You could certainly take the lids off. They're from a consignment store. I think these are really a good buy. For $3.99 each, for $8, you've got a great table centerpiece opportunity, or maybe put these on a shelf, even on different levels to create a story. And this art glass vase looks like the ocean. You could put some grocery store flowers in this and have a great look for $1.99. And this blue vase has a necklace on it. I actually got some chinoiserie in Texas that had a necklace vase and I just love it. Adds interest. But then again, maybe this was a separate item that got mixed up, I'm not sure. These plates would be a lovely seaside look with white dishes. Royal Norfolk. I like the spiral design and that brown edge. Lovely. And a lot of times you have to move things around at a Goodwill store. That's a nice trivet. And you really do, because there's simply so much they put out, you might find something wonderful at the bottom. And this tray has had a good life. Let's learn about it, Nautilus. And oh yes, Otagari. I have seen this brand before. I think you could clean that up. You could even use that to place things on top of for maybe a coffee table look. A pair of candle holders. I'm glad that they have featured them together because sometimes they get separated in the store. These are pressed glass. They're not EAPG, they are newer. And you can tell they're not cut crystal because it doesn't have a fine defined line on it. Oh, I love to look at dishes. Let's see what we find here. It's a lovely soup tureen and a cookie jar, it seems. I wonder if this was a ceramics project. That would be a nice addition to a centerpiece. You could create a story with that. Arnell's, I do like it. You find some unusual things and the strawberries on this plate, I think are interesting. Wouldn't that be great for breakfast, brunch, or even luncheon? It is Lynn's stoneware. It's a beautiful back stamp with a swan. $17.99, so it's really a pretty good deal. And you can mix that and stretch it with some other white dishes. 
And I think that's a luncheon size plate. It doesn't look large enough to be a dinner plate, which is neat because those are hard to find. And these mugs are neat. Mikasa, Country Classics. You could even buy this set and split them up and everyone at a luncheon gets maybe some tea and tea treats inside the mug and you have a very uniform gift and everyone has a special mug. I see some mid-century items, those dishes, and this I believe was part of the barware with that gold design. Um, it's tall and slender and that's usually not for a typical cold beverage and uh, that's what really is indicative of barware. This compound is neat, that looks old, vintage. I do see a chip on the top, so that's probably not such a good deal at $2.99 and maybe they didn't notice it when they priced it. And let's take another look. Those dishes I think are probably also from the 60s. And here are some Christmas plates with that tartan plaid design. Let's take a look. Lillian Vernon, that is a mail order catalog. And now I'm sure they're online as well. And this is a very 1960s look here, the mid-century Franciscan porcelain. I think you could probably sell this on eBay or Etsy and make some good money off of that. But of course I'm traveling, I can't bring it home. My mother had Franciscan ivy, but this is their fine china. And in the 1960s, the platinum band was everything. You really didn't see too much gold then. That was more the 1980s. These octagonal glass plates are simple, but could be really interesting. Put a doily on top and then maybe a dessert cup. And wouldn't that be a great presentation? A paper doily, of course. And here's a great gift opportunity for $3.99. You could put that in a basket with some brie and some wine, maybe a couple of wine glasses. It's from Falscraf. I didn't realize they made things in Mexico. This is a nice plate for maybe displaying. It's $7.99 from TJ Maxx. It's always nice when you can see the retail tag on it, but I really moved it to see this plate. This looks to be vintage or perhaps antique, and it seems to be German. It has a certain look about it, but let's flip it over. It's actually from France. And this, even though it has some crazing, I think would be a great item to display or to even resell, but just can't take it home with me today. So I will hide that for someone else to find. I love looking at the china. And these mugs are interesting too. That looks like something for breakfast that would really brighten your day. And that's Churchill, made in Colombia. And they're dishwasher safe. That's a great set. Now let's take a look at figurines. That's something that is often collected and you never know what you will find. I have been lucky enough to come across Yadro figurines at my local Goodwill one of which I passed on to my friend Lydia. And last time I was at my Goodwill store, there was a lady checking out and um, she had a Yadro in her hand and I asked how much she was paying, $1.99. So always take a look in this area. These look to be maybe Asian inspired. Let's look at the back stamp. And it's from a ceramic studio made by Ella. How about that? I would guess that these are from the 1960s. And you will see there's a lot of mid-century here in the store, well represented today. And let's take a look at the smaller pieces here. You never know if you'll find a Hummel or another top brand. And I'm not really seeing anything. This is not a Hummel, you can tell by the glaze, and there's no back stamp. Very rudimentary look. And there are some good knockoffs out there, so you'll have to look for the Bumblebee logo. And this piece I think is really interesting, hand embroidered, it is a beverage coaster, and I think it would be great for paper clips on your desk. There's so much you could do with that, because a lot of our beverage glasses today have a um, you know, larger size and the base probably would not fit inside. I find that with a lot of the sterling pieces. And these are also mid-century canisters. Look at that. What a deal. You could definitely sell this on Etsy. And mid-century is a coveted design today, or a style rather. And you see it a lot of places for some high dollar. And I do like to look through the mugs because you don't know what you'll find. And here's a sweet little teapot. Let's take a look at the back stamp. Looks to be maybe Japanese. And it's from an import company doesn't really tell us too much about it and 
These are familiar to me. I think that's Corningware. And the ivy is very much 1990s. You may remember the Waverly patterns and wallpaper and clothing. You had a lot of ivy design. Not to be confused with Franciscan ivy of the 60s and 50s. This also looks to be from the mid-century era, maybe the early 1960s, with that pink and platinum. These plates would be interesting for a little dessert. I like that you can pull so many colors from that for your table setting. And it is Woodhill, made in China. Those are lovely. Especially like those teacups that go with that rose pattern. And this coffee cup or teacup is Falkenburg from Germany and it is at back stamp, it is Cornessa Bavaria. Love that crown. You can make that into a piece of jewelry like China Baroque does. And here there was clearly a collection because we're seeing different pieces throughout the store. It was the U.S. military represented in that area of Germany. And I guess they were just closing out an estate and donated all of these items. 99 cents. You can tell that's an older back stamp as well. And I think we're going to find more pieces today. I always have to pick up the pineapples. It's nothing that I need. I mean, you could put flowers in it. You could do many different things for a tablescape. It's a lovely crystal cross. It's definitely a pressed glass. It is not cut crystal. And interesting on the bottom, it has someone's name. So I don't know if that was in memory of someone. And I do think that there's an etching on it. Definitely will pass on the cross. This glass bottle will be a nice addition to your kitchen. You could actually use it for oil or vinegar. And I'm thinking if you have a window that has some really good natural light, you could line up some different colored glass and wouldn't that be a great thing to look at every day? Here's another cup that goes with that German collection from the US Army, non-commissioned officer. That was for re-enlistment apparently, the Signal Brigade, they gave them a cup. And I think this is the perfect souvenir, 99 cents. Oh, actually $1.99 each. And for $4, look at that, Antigua, Shafford. I just love the seashell. If you're bringing back a gift for someone that's been house sitting for you, wouldn't that be perfect? Put some coffee or tea in that. And they've got something to think about Florida, especially that Nautilus. Here again is a platinum rim from the 1960s. That's a lovely design. A sweet handle on that teacup. They don't have too much of it. Oh, Christmas China, my friend Michelle has been looking for some. I think we're gonna have to go to Bluebird Circle closer to Christmas. This is The Joy of Christmas by Jamestown China and kind of reminds me of Twist the Night Before Christmas. Wouldn't that be fun for breakfast dishes for the month of December? I just love that. So much detail. If I were driving, I would probably put these in my cart. I always like to look at the glassware. You never know if you're going to find Villar and Vogue, Lennox, Waterford, Marquis by Waterford, and maybe even Baccarat. This is one of the mixing bowls that originally came in a set. It is vintage. My mother had these in amber, and it has a square base. $3.99, I think that's a very good price. And this you might recognize as a snack set plate. You'll notice the, the well for the glass. And the Wexford from Anchor Hawking Punch Bowl. I'm trying to get to these cups to show you. <laughs> it's a bit of a challenge. It's quite a classic pattern. You probably have seen this in different colors and cake stands. It's lovely. And that would have been a more high end of its time. And I think that that is an amazing purchase opportunity. $9.99 for the entire set. And you know those punch cups can be used individually if you're serving a luncheon and you have a soup or a dessert, you can place that on your plate. This is the pattern my mother had. This was her tried and true punch bowl, $6.99. That would be fun just to have to think of all those parties that we had, but I can't get it home. And I think punch bowls are very much overlooked and underrated. I am seeing a resurgence of interest in these because they are so purposeful. You could use them for serving a cut up in a fresh fruit. You could just maybe even use it for something on top of your dresser if you wanted to put your socks inside just for a storage 
option. And I don't think it has to always be for punch. It could be a beautiful centerpiece with Christmas ornaments. And this is the most exciting thing that I'm finding today. Made by the L.E. Smith Glass Company. This is the slewed horseshoe pattern. You'll notice the handle on that cup is elongated. That is the original design. $4.99 for all of these punch cups. We put them in our cart. I thought my father was getting them. He thought I was getting them, but we couldn't get them home. And he has probably close to 150. And I have the same number in my pattern, which is Aztec by the McKee Glass Company. Here are those snack sets. We saw those two loan plates. So always look around the store. If you're buying something, make sure your set is complete. And that's great for entertaining. And here are some more mugs. Apparently someone re-enlisted quite a few times. And that was a good memory for them. But you know, for today, maybe you'll find something that speaks to you, but that certainly is not something I want to take home. Löwenbräu München. In America, we call that Lowenbrow. And that mug actually could be a great gift for someone with their favorite beer, or maybe even get them something older, more vintage. Als Schnitzel Gasthaus. That is something I've never seen before. And that shape of beer glass is really neat. Love those. And this covered candy dish is unique. It's got a heart design and fleur de lis. It's something I haven't seen together. And that would be a great gift too. And I love this pattern. And for 99 cents, you can't go wrong. That could be a jewelry dish. You could present your homemade jelly there with a doily underneath. There's so many opportunities to use that as a gift. And this is a repurposed item. Let's see, we're starting with that cake plate that my mother had when I was growing up and an old soda glass and then a newer plate from the dollar store I recognize and a punch cup. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that. Perhaps that's for the garden for maybe a bird feeder. This is early American pattern glass and that is a shallow punch bowl. But I think that's a great opportunity to use for not only for a centerpiece, but just for a smaller, maybe eggnog, if you just have a few people and you're not having, you know, a, a large party. It can be great for uh, so many different purposes. And here we've got red items together. A lot of them are newer at the top, kitchen items that they have brought in. And since they are bringing new items to their Goodwill stores in Gulf Coast of Florida, I'm thinking they have to have a whole department. They have to have a buyer. They, you know, obviously it's a whole nother operation when you bring in retail goods. Apples are perfect for the fall. And I'm wondering if this cookie jar was perhaps also from a ceramic studio, $5.99. And there's definitely interest in that era. So I think that probably does pretty well for them at Goodwill. You even see these in antique shops. And growing up, we always had a, a pie dish that our parents made in Ceramic Studio. I'm not sure about this. I've not seen that tomato before. So it must be a newer piece. And it is from the main ingredients. Interesting. And it looks like we have a smattering of seasonal here. Let's take a look and see if there's anything of interest. And this is Linux. That's the tartan plaid. That is actually meant for Christmas, but I'm thinking the whole fall and winter season, that would be ideal. You place a tea light inside, it adds some great ambiance to your table, or perhaps even maybe a corner of a room. You could use an LED candle. That is a steal. I actually tried to show this to several people in the store to see if they would take it home, but maybe they were traveling like me. I love angels. These are not crystal, but they are good quality glass. I've seen this one before in antique shops. So that would be a really great addition, $2.99 to any collection. Even if you just want to add a touch of Christmas, that's the perfect item. I'm not sure if this is hand painted or maybe that was even a Teleflora or FTD item, Rose Bowl. This looks to be from the 80s. It's a bit dated, but that could add some interest to maybe a bedroom, just a pop of color for your guests. Perhaps they could put their cell phone, wallet, keys inside. And a lot of bell collectors out there. Sometimes I find an entire lifetime grouping of bells that someone has carefully curated and added to their home. A trinket box, and that one has never been opened. Be a good little Christmas gift. The box is a little bit worn, but you know, I think it's still a great gift. 
This I think was a wine coaster. It's a frosted glass with the bells. Perfect. Hostess gift. Pair that with your favorite bottle of wine or even just add some chocolates to that. Would definitely be a fun addition to your table. And Christmas ornaments. These I think are the shatterproof, which are great to have. And for $4.99, I think that's a really good deal. And gold brightens up any kind of Christmas decor. As long as it's somewhat traditional, that would go very well. And they do have some furniture, some dining chairs. I'm not really looking at that today too much. They didn't have a lot of that. And dolls seem to be very popular. I tend to find these at Goodwill a lot. And you know, I love cart diving. Anything that rolls out, I want to see what's new. And that's where I found some of my best items. Two pieces of Waterford I found that way. I think this is a Calphalon pan. Don't need to get that home. And even though I don't have room for more artwork, I sometimes just do a quick walkthrough. There may be a hidden gem, maybe something that's hand painted, um, maybe a print that's well framed that you could definitely um, add to your collection or resell. And lots of pillows. Let's see what else they have for us around the corner here. I like to look at linens, especially table linens. And I think this is such a joyful pattern. I've not seen it before. Look at that aqua color too that's mixed in. Isn't that nice? I can see that on a Christmas table, just simple dishes. Let's open it up. Since they don't have the size listed, that might work for my breakfast table, but let's look at the tag. Love all those colors, but the tag really will tell you um, maybe a brand or give you an idea on the age of it just by looking at the name of the company. You can always research it. This one is actually quite simple though. It, it took me by surprise. It's Pioneer Woman. How about that? Probably for Walmart. And you know, I mentioned they have new items. How about mattresses? Would you ever imagine walking into a Goodwill and you can buy the bed, frame, and new mattresses in Port St. Joe, Florida? It's definitely a different focus for a Goodwill store. And I'm not sure if it's because they don't have the donations that they normally would need to reach their sales volume, or maybe they see there's a need in their community to have affordable new items to outfit a home but they must do well with it. And they also have some linens. I'd like to take a look. You never know what you'll find. And how about this, a pineapple garden flag? I definitely am going to take this back home to Texas. That's a deal. And that would certainly brighten up my garden. And let's see what else they have. Maybe something seasonal. That might be a round table cover. I don't have a round table here in Houston, so I think I'll pass on that one. But it is from World Market. That deserves a second look. And the blue and white buffalo check, I think would be so fun for a picnic. I like to look at the material and the edging. And if you look closely, you'll see this one it doesn't really have a great finished edge. It's just more economical and all the more reason to keep that in your bag for picnics. And this burlap snowflake table runner for $5.99 is nice to add your holiday decor. And they have some other placemats. You just never know what you'll find. And because that is jute, you do have to hand clean it, spot clean it. And that's okay too. Usually that's for decorative purposes. And here are some fall placemats with that ever popular truck. It's nice when it is at least a set of four for table linens. And here they have some home decor behind the counter. And I think that candle holder with a crackled glass is from Hobby Lobby. I have seen several pieces in that design. You could use it also as a vase. And you can see the letters. It is from Hobby Lobby. Part of the sticker is still there. And they do have some new items, clothing accessories as well. Well, I sure have enjoyed this stop at the Goodwill store in Port St. Joe, Florida. Thanks for coming along with me and found some great stuff, most of which I couldn't take home today. I had such fun coming back to this Goodwill store in Port St. Joe, Florida, and I got a flag with a pineapple for my backyard. 
99 cents, what a deal. And those punch cups were tempting, but my father already has over 100, and I do in my pattern as well. So we will pass and let someone else have those goodies. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with Goodwill Shopping.